Jose go I attended a funeral, a burial funeral in Madira Nyeri. The area MP who was in steps in after the former area MP was made, uh, became deputy president, said very nice things about the DP, uh, and we are all very happy. He proceeded to say the many good things they are going to do. Again, that is okay. Although we had thought we had come from there, where you'll get things merely because you are... <clears throat> your son is this thing or the other. That's okay. But he said something that made me almost sit up in my seat. He said, we are supporting the, 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 the president and we are moving forward. Tunanza Mapema. Then he turned and looked at me and said, I've seen now he moved from Gekoyo to, I think, Swahili or English, and mentioned Haman, who is me. And then he said, Sisi ya tuogopi, tunanza kujipanga mapema. Ruto kumi, dipi gashagwa kumi. I said, God, I almost left. Why? If, they are, if you are looking for people who love this country, you will have to start with me. I love this country. I know we have tempted fate, but God loves us. That is a dangerous narrative. No sooner has President William Ruto begun his term that the people are beginning to tell Kenyans, Ruto Kumi, Gashagwa Kumi. I am inviting the president and his deputy to run away from that, that narrative. I am inviting Ruto and Gashagwa to run very fast away from that narrative. And to inform their lieutenants to stop immediately. That narrative of Ruto Kumi Gashagwa Kumi is a dangerous narrative. It is coming from a man who loves this country. Right from inside my heart. We are a multi-ethnic society. We've been independent for 60 or so years. Kenyatta did 15 years at Kikuyu. Moi did 24 years at Kalenje. Kibaki did 10 years at Kikuyu. Uru did about 10 Akikuyu. A Kalenjin is here, we want him to do 10. And you are inviting Kenyans that they should be prepared for another Kikuyu after Ruto. This is dangerous, plain dangerous. We must call it for what it is. If you love this country, join me in calling this thing for what it is. It has brought down many countries. Gashagwa is a good man. He should become president, by all means. But don't remind Kenyans. I'm inviting leaders to know that a big part of this country is still hurting. If nobody tells you, listen from Manyora. Get it from Manyora. This country has many, many people, in their millions, who are hurting. We are pushing people into believing that unless you are a Kalenjin or a Kikuyu, you never rule this country. Plainly speaking, that is dangerous. Let's avoid that path. Let's support Ruto for 10 years. Let Gashagwa try his, his luck. Five years, 10 years. It's okay, I have no problem with that. But don't sing that song. This nation has millions of people who are hurting. We've always gotten it wrong. I'll take you down memory lane. Jomo Kenyatta. Persecuted Jeremogo Oginga Odinga. Instead of supporting for them to work together, he persecuted him. 
We could have lost our country. At that time, many young countries were losing their countries. God was with us. When Moi left, Kibaki took over. The natural thing to do was for Kibaki to honor the MOU with Raila Odinga. Everybody knew that Kibaki would work with Raila Odinga. The MOU was written in some undercover of darkness or whatever it was, closed door. Because they thought Khan was still powerful. Kibaki betrayed Raila. We could have lost our country. God came in for us. We have had challenges in 2007. We almost nearly lost it. God came in for us and the international community. If Kibaki had worked with Raila and even handed over to Raila, we couldn't have gotten where we nearly got. When the history of this country is written, many, many years from now, because history can be very unkind, when the history of this country is written, and God forbid, if this country will have gone the way some people are driving it to go, you look back as a refugee from another country and say, why didn't did Kibaki work with Raila? You'll watch your children's children suffering. You are an old man of 80. And your great-grandchildren are living in a country that's not a country. And you'll say, surely, why didn't Uhuru support Raila in 2013? Today he'll be president. As a refugee in some corner of this world, and you've seen refugees here, you say, wasn't it very easy for William Samoy Ruta, a young man, just to support Raila? These things I'm telling you, few people can tell you. It's born out of my love for this country. I know we are playing with fire. I know it's risky, it's dangerous. Less has brought countries down. You can rush to become president, fine. But remember, even as you rush to become member of parliament, governor and senator, it can't just be about you. Indeed, if it is just about you, then you are the most selfish human being. You are actually an animal. You are no better than an animal. If it is just about you becoming a senator, you are an animal. Because you can, be, you can only be a human being if you are looking at tomorrow. And you are thinking about your granddaughter. That is what makes you different from a dog. If you think it's about you being a leader today, without caring what kind of country will my children's children live in tomorrow. Let me tell you this, countries that have configurations, tribal or racial configurations, or even religious configurations, such as ours, they always navigate their affairs very, very carefully. Even in America, if you look at the architecture of governance in America, it was to ensure that no two states, California, Florida, or Texas, could rule the rest forever. In some countries, even without the law, bigger, bigger tribes sometimes leave power. You can go and check countries even in Africa. It is important for sustainable peace that you make everybody feel they are part of this country called Kenya. 
while it is anybody's and everybody's right to struggle to be president, we must approach this thing with the sensitivity that will see us live tomorrow, that will see our grandchildren and their children find a country. It explains why more than a million people voted for Raila from the Gikuyu community. It includes people who know. It's not just about who are telling them to vote for Raila or Mother Karua. It includes people who know that this arrangement may not be sustainable. In 2007, there were prominent Kikuyu businessmen and politicians led by people like Njonjo, SK, Anjui and the rest, who said it shouldn't be another Kikuyu after Kibaki. Some wanted Mdavadi, others wanted Raila. They were seeing exactly what I'm seeing here. People who see things for future are always blamed, bashed, called all manner of names, but it is because they are seeing either where many people don't see or where many people don't want to see. This is a country made up of more than 40 communities. Do not create a narrative. Kumi, kumi, kumi. Struggle to be president is your right. Let the other person struggle to be president is their right. But avoid such a narrative because they are dangerous. Especially to a hurting country. For your information, it's not difficult to destroy a country. Very easy. But very, very difficult to rebuild a country. Look at Southern Sudan. Look at Sudan in general. The years, they began before I was born. Around the year I was born. Look at how old I am. When I saw Syed Bari, when he had left Somalia, it's about 30 or so years ago. Let's look for power. Let's support whoever we want to support. But let's avoid dangerous narratives that rub people the wrong way because there are many people who are hurting. And therefore, as we support William Samoy Ruto, Ruto to finish his 10 years or five, whatever it is, and as some of us will support the Gashagwa, let's not go on the rooftops with this nonsense of Kumi Kumi. After all, Kumi Kumi was a dangerous drink that destroyed many children. Avoid Yangu Kumi, Yako Kumi.